So as I've mentioned, this is all in the cloud. You can see your resources over here. Preview, adjustment area, and tracking. So if you're not um, familiar with Adobe, this will be a little bit difficult. But if you are familiar with Premiere Pro or Final Cut, this is going to be super easy. All right. So what? just like how you would edit on your phone, you can literally move it around, you can scale it. So that's my host. So let's say she's, let's say this is what you want. It's the shortcuts are a little bit different, but you can go control B that is creating. Um, and then I can zoom in, delete, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's say that's what I want, control B, and then I can go somewhere else. Let's say this is where the other host starts talking. And then I can move it. That's how nice. Okay. And of you get the idea. You can follow the conversation. Let's say you're doing a podcast. Let's say you're doing a video podcast. Let's say you're doing, I don't know, a, re a reel for something. Now, obviously, it's going to be easier to do all this on the phone. But as a video editor or someone who works for a media publisher, a lot of times you're going to be doing this and you don't want to be on your phone because it's annoying. Like you want your phone for other stuff like, I don't know, texting your wife or someone calls you and you need to make sure your phone is available and it drains your battery. There are a few things on the phone which are better on CapCut, like there's body effects, um, there's other stuff. It's mainly the body effects, which they have to figure out and in putting into their uh, video editor. But the fact, the mere fact that it's SaaS, it's on the cloud, there are limitations though. So you can only do one gig on the cloud. So it's not like Adobe Premiere Pro where you just, you know, you got a huge project, which is like 50 gigs, 100 gigs. That's not what you use this for. I, I'm sure there's like a premium version, but uh, on, until they figure that out, I mean, give it another two, three years, they're probably gonna figure it out. Anyway, the transitions are awesome and the effects. So I can go, let's say into this and I can do something like So let's say there's an animation. I want an animation like that. Or I can do a combo. So, but that's weird. Now, as you can see, it's going to, too long because it's putting it throughout the clip. So I would don't want a combo. I can just do in, boink. There you go adds some clickbait, I guess, to your video, especially if you're making a reel. And you can do it um, for pictures. So I can bring in pictures. Uh, there's stock video as well, which is amazing. So let's say I search green screen. It's going to find a bunch of green screen 
stock footage. So let's say your host is talking about food or being on the phone for too long. Can, and there's also layers, which is awesome. Uh, you can click that. Unfortunately, they, you can't, so this is the problem with the, the cloud version. You can't key out the green, which sucks. The desktop app and the CapCut iPhone app, you can take out the background. So a few things that suck. Um, there's TikTok preview, you can change the ratio here. So things to consider, but I just think it's it's super awesome that this is all on the cloud. And you can even put effects on her. So same thing, you can put the combo Let's say you want this zoop and goes away. What's even cooler, effects. So you can do something like uh, lightning. Uh, this will take a bit of time and it actually doesn't. I wish Adobe could do this. How cool is that? Um, let's say we, oh, and transitions as well. So let's say this is, so that's a transition, right? Cutting from one person to another. You can have a transition like this. You can have cameras, social media. See, these are cute use them all the time on my TikToks. This is really nice. So let's say, what's this? So it even does a preview. So you press the plus sign. There you go. I just don't understand how Adobe hasn't doesn't have these transitions yet. Don't get it. Anyway, eventually TikTok's just gonna take over. I don't need to pay whatever amount. I think it's twenty dollars for Adobe Premiere. I mean, if they just added a few more things, this this is gonna kick butt. Anyway, so you have transitions like this. You can add music. So think of this like Canva. You're online, you got to get assets out quick, but you have to do it for video. And another thing is, we all know that a lot of writers or people, journalists need to do reels or stories because they work for a media publisher or a news uh, company or broadcast station, whatever. They still need to go out and, you know, talk about news or whatever and get it out quick. And this is a really good way to do it. Um, so you can add audio. So let's say I want to hear this. That's cute. Stick that in there. You can put the, the volume down. You can press Command B. All right. What else can I do? I can add filters. So let's say. The host doesn't like her face. Uh, let's say, let's say, what's over here? 
High saturation. Let's see what this does. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. No, that's something. I'm not too keen, but you get the idea. Um, what else do we have? You can use Jiffy. So add this. Oh, much. You can probably add it. Look at that. And then let's say she says something funny. You can even have sound effects. So I can add music or effects. And let's say, unfortunately, they don't have a search button, which sucks. But on the phone, they do. So I'm just going to try something. No. Yeah, that sounds cool. Put that in. And just load the music. Okay, I'm spending way too much time on something that doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyway, another thing would be text. Now this is oh stickers. Sorry, let's get me get let's get into stickers. Ah. You can add stickers. So let's say this is cute. So it does a preview, and then you can press the plus button. So you get the idea. Move it. So really handy, especially when if you're on Premiere Pro, you have to download every asset, which is annoying. Like it's all about efficiency. Like I want to be able to be creative rather than be more technical and thinking about, oh, I have to download this. I just want it to happen. So again, text templates are they, there, which is amazing. Or I can do auto captions. So this is awesome. So you can do American English, British English. You can uh, recognize voice. You can create app captions, recognize lyrics. I'm going to create captions. So this is not what I wanted. I wanted language, sorry. So now it's going to pretty much create the text for whatever they're saying, which is awesome. Now, Adobe did this with uh, captions for the past one or two years. So they've been super quick, but this is really good. Like I can literally take all this. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's easier on the phone, by the way. I can scale it. And then I can, on the phone, it's much easier. But I can just, oh, what did I do? No, that's not what I wanted. Um, they, this is probably a hiccup from their side. So again, something to try. I would definitely say use the 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 phone if you're not um, a pro or intermediate when it comes to video editing, and it's so much easier. And you have body effects. The only issue I would I would say is it's not convenient for a lot of videographers because I'm guessing a lot of videographers, video editors are used to 
Premiere Pro or Final Cut or DaVinci. So this is like, why am, they're going to look at this and be like, why am I even using this? But it's really convenient, I would have to say. All right. So I hope you get the idea. Now, what's also good on the phone is if you scale one, the rest of these will automatically um, scale up and you can you adjust the text um, size. So something to think about when you're making content. As you know, like a lot of reels have captions. Um, again, text templates. So you can always use never give up. Put that there. And then let's say this is your subscribe button, for example. Or follow us, something like that. Another thing you can do. Um, yeah. The, again, it's a little bit glitchy. It just spazzes out. Like I, I'm clicking the stock videos button. Why is it doing that? Anyway, uh, there's one thing I wanted to go over. Text. So let's say you have a really boring intro, right? So let's say, uh, let's put some stock footage. <clears throat> Island. And let's add this. Whoa. I need to figure that out because it goes to the end of the clip. Anyway. So this is my boring clip at the, at the start. What I can do is add, see, and I can't drag the clips. It's kind of like Final Cut, where you can't drag the stuff. Uh, very linear way of editing, which is fine, whatever. Um, Anyway, let's put this at the end. Let's say this is the start of your boring, I don't know, uh, vacation vlog, which I've done. Uh, and you want to say, time to enjoy the weekend. I can use a, uh, let's change the font. This is annoying me. Mm. Okay. So again, it's acting up, but anyway, there's my amazing font. You, yuck, what am I doing? <laughs> Whatever. So that's that's my thing. I want an in and out. So I can do something like, wow, look at that. Jesus, no. Um, time to, no, it's so annoying. This is, you get the idea. You can, you can have stuff like that. But what's super trendy is the girl who talks so I don't know, you can hear it, but anyway, you have different voices. You can, you have different voices. So, how oh, come I can't hear it? Oh, I have to apply. Yep. To enjoy. Okay, it's slowing down because it's on the cloud again. But that's pretty much it. 
I think I covered most of it. Again, there are uh, body effects on the phone version. I don't have my phone right now. Actually, I do. But let me try to get on CapCut. Now I can't cast this on the on Restream. So I am gonna try to show you on my phone. So don't know if you can see this properly. Let me try to show you. This is a little bit tough because I should have figured out how to to <laughs> explain this properly. <laughs> anyway, you can't really see it, but there is a effects button with a star. So you click that and then you have video effects, which you can do on the desktop version. But what they need to add is body effects. So what I can do, I can add, let's say that. I'm gonna take out the volume, but you can see there's an outline. If you want something more crazy, you can do stuff like that. You can, I can have Thor eyes. I don't know if my phone's focusing, it's not focusing, but you get the idea. Um, and that's about it. So it's almost 30 minutes now and I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Yep. Cool. So that's pretty much it. I'll probably make shorts out of these for my YouTube page for reels for probably add subtitles. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you didn't see this, you'll probably see reels on this.